Ladies and gentlemen, this is EMC Web TV. Thank you for joining us this week in the hospitality world. Accor sells hotels for 272 million euros to cap debt. Francis Accor has sold 158 hotel F1 budget hotels for 272 million euros to help it reduce debt, the group said in a statement on Tuesday. Accor will continue to operate the hotels under the Hotel F1 brand as part of the sale and variable leaseback deal carried out with a consortium of French institutional investors through a property investment trust, it said. Accor sent a 12-year business lease for the hotels renewable six times. The variable rent would have been 21.3 million euros based on 2008 revenue, Accor said. The transaction will enable Accor to reduce its adjusted net debt by about 187 million euros this year, of which 130 million will be added to cash reserves. The deal will boost profit before tax by some 5 million euros, Accor added. And Accor opened the first Formula One hotel 25 years ago and renamed the brand Hotel A1 in 2007. The budget hotel sector in France has held up well during the economic crisis, whilst demand for a cost upscale and mid-range hotels has suffered. The company revealed last month that it was considering splitting its prepared services division from its main hotel operations to create two separately listed businesses and allow them to exploit growth potential more effectively. Davidson Hotel tapped to manage New Jersey Westin. Davidson Hotel will manage the 244-room Western Berkeley Heights in eastern New Jersey. The new property, located 22 miles from New York City, will be the first hotel Davidson will manage for the Connell Company. Davidson manages three other Western properties, and Steve McGall, Chief Investment Officer of Davidson, said the company's experience with those properties will allow Davidson to quickly establish the Western Berkeley Heights as a market leader. Shane Connell, Executive Vice President of the Connell, said Davidson was selected after a nationwide surge. Davidson was chosen because of its impressive history combined with the unrivaled success in operating upscale full-service hotels. The Western Berkeley Heights is the Connell's first hotel. It is located within the 185-acre Connell Corporate Park, also owned by the company. Connell Corporate Park has over 30 corporate tenants that Shane Connell said will represent a building source of demand for the new hotel. Memphis-based Davidson Hotel currently owns or manages 37 upscale, independent and branded hotels with nearly 10,500 rooms across the U.S., with brands including Westin, Marriott, Hyatt, Hilton, Sheraton, Embassy Suites, Doubletree, Renaissance, Crown Plaza, Hilton Garden Inn and Holiday Inn. Behind the scenes at the Wilders Presidential Suite Want to sleep like the leader of the free world? Then be prepared to shell out $7,000 a night for the presidential suite at New York's Waldorf Astoria Hotel. But for that kind of money, you really do get a piece of history. President Obama checked in this week, becoming the latest world leader to stay in the four-bedroom suite. In fact, every U.S. president since Herbert Hoover has either stayed in or lived at the Waldorf Towers. While it might be a great honor to have the president stay in your hotel, it's no easy task. With nearly 200 world leaders and countless ambassadors gathering in New York this week for the 64th United Nations General Assembly, hotels across the city are busy putting on their best show. John Doherty spent 30 years working at the Waldorf, 23 of them as executive chef. He said this week brings an exhilarating challenge. Besides Obama, there are roughly two dozen other heads of state staying at the hotel. Doherty, who is now a partner at restaurant developer Wolfpack Hospitality, said the chefs work with the State Department to learn what foods the president likes or dislikes. 
They then review a series of menus for all of the public dinners or meetings that the president will have at the hotel. For instance, President Ronald Reagan had to avoid spices and nuts. And no, despite rumors, there is no government taste tester checking each dish for poison, Doherty said. However, the government is present in the kitchen as meals are being prepared. George W. Bush was particularly interested in the food being served and would often quiz Doherty when staying at the Waldorf. Ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day and join us next week for some more video news on EMC Web TV.